Right, a trendy, trendy city, trendy city, Edinburgh. I was a brilliant article in the news. You're the student capital of Scotland. Have we got students in tonight? Oh, that was a fucking archaic <laughs> <laughs> journalism there. There's apparently not enough accommodation for them. A hilarious article in the news that said, areas of Edinburgh are being turned into student ghettos. I thought, oh, fucking terrifying, eh? <laughs> <laughs> My God, I've seen them on the street corner selling quiche, so I have a student ghetto. What would Elvis have made of a student ghetto, eh? Where a middle class child's cosy and warm. If he needs more money, he just phones his mom. <laughs> I like students. I'm still trying to hang on to my student youth with, it, with my long hair and my beard for the 90s. You know, my wife encourages it as well for my Christmas this year. She got me a punk's leather jacket, like a Ramones leather jacket, right? Didn't know I was getting it. I says, what have you got me? She says, I'm not telling you. She says, well, give me a clue. And she went, Bono would like it. And I went, Bono would like it? And I thought, fucking hell, she's going to include my dick, you know? As, uh... <laughs> John Scott is the most seasoned comedian out of the six finalists. He's been doing stand-up for five years and hopes the competition will finally give him his big break. Because it tends to be London comes up and decamps and they've got the big powerful agents and them and they control everything. But this is a platform for Scottish comedians. I know what to say, it's not great to have London here, it's great to have London here, but it's nice to end up on a platform that, you know, we're getting for a change. <laughs> Because the big money with 24 hour drinking is where we're going to get more trouble in the streets. But we've had 24 hour drinking in Scotland for centuries and we never get trouble in the streets. And we save that for a special service known as the night bus. Now, <laughs> I got on a night bus in Edinburgh last, last year at the festival. Pissed! Not making a nuisance of myself, just doing that thing where you make your way up the back of the bus using people's heads for support. <laughs> I started to fall asleep, right? And I did that thing, and I was like, I was, I was all right, sorry, I won't miss my stop. My body clock counts and bus stops. And an hour later, I woke up in a place called Peebles. Right? And, uh, the locals tapping on the window going, Wana bus, Wana bus, Wana bus. I went, No, not like you. See? Shoes. Right? <laughs> And the bus driver was rattling me away, and I woke up and I, and I went, oh my god, he says, oh shit, I'm in Peebles. I said, is there any way I can get a bus back into Edinburgh? And he went, yeah mate, you'll get a bus over that side of the street in ten minutes time. So I crossed over the road and stood in the pouring rain at two in the morning, and ten minutes later, the same bus that I fucking knew to. Because bus drivers are inherently evil people. <laughs> You've been enjoying Edinburgh, you've got great comedians coming up, enjoy the rest of the night. Cheers. Third place. How do I get up there? Thanks for that, cheers. The runner up. Take the mic in association with the Scottish Gun and Caledonia Brewery is Mr. John Scott! <laughs>